Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, I hope this video uploads. This is the first time we've been able to get online. Only one of us can get online at a time since late yesterday. And the internet company won't be here till Monday. Of course not. Yet today's what, Thursday? Yeah. And so they can't come out on a Friday? Well, it was one of their own employees, though. <laughs> um, he just take what he needs all the things. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, we got a phone call this morning. You want me to tell him? Anyway, um, so I'm going to sort of respond to some of those idiots over there, the fake atheists, because, look, some of you actually did exactly what I expected you to do. Oh, thank you so much, and you proved your state theist. Hey, Maggie. I mean, you just had to start throwing how good the government is in there, didn't you? I don't think the government's very good, but... Anyway, um, so here's the thing. See, you have a hidden agenda. You atheist. You capital A atheist. You atheist plus. You're, you new atheist. You have a hidden agenda. See, when Fidel Castro and Ernesto Guevara watching the kittens they're having a ball when they see they, they denied they were communists I mean you're aware of that aren't you do you know what um, Ernesto Guevara said about blacks do you know what he and and um, Castro said and did about what we used to call long hairs uh, people who listen to the rock and roll music you know what he did you know those two did with those people what about gays? Do you know how gays were treated and are treated in Cuba? See, they denied Ernesto Guevara and Fidel Castro denied they were communists until they actually took power. Then they admitted it. That's your hidden agenda. You don't want people to know your true agenda. Your true agenda is to get a more communistic society and all that. Now, as for um, welfare, food stamps, etc., <coughs> first let's start with um, San Antonio, Texas, Florida, and many other places. It's a crime. The state has made it a crime, mind you, to help the homeless. Are you aware of that? That's what the, that's how much the state cares. In San Antonio, the only place that is allowed to help the homeless is the city of San Antonio. If you go up and give a person a dollar and a cop sees you, you can get a ticket or be arrested. And it happens. People are ticketed and are arrested. There used to be all sorts of programs, private programs, in San Antonio. I lived there for way too many years. Um, and, um, you know, I even volunteered at the SAM shelter, which is now closed, and they have, there's a new facility run by the city. As for welfare and, and other social programs, those can be had in the private sector, but when you have government regulation, which is a form of central uh, control, of central planning, you... the government doesn't let you do the things that you could just naturally do. Uh, there's a homeless program in Keene. The city wants to shut it down. The city of Keene wants to shut it down. Because they think it attracts the homeless people. Well, I think the whole... And... The, the and so the city does everything they can to regulate and over-regulate the program. You can have 
aid to people, and at one time you did, via the private sector instead of the state. The state is a very poor provider of care and everything. But I guess we're just going to ignore the fact that um, the best help always comes from the private sector, not the government sector. So anyway, so you know, uh, y'all exposed yourselves. I didn't have to expose you, but... The government just does it to make themselves look good. Yeah. So anyway, folks, so... Uh, hey, you're so charitable. And, um, and on that point, you know, uh, we get food stamps. How about that? Would that surprise you? But somebody stole our card, and it's going to take eight to ten business days for us to get a new card. How efficient is that? Well, what are we going to do? Go without food for the next two weeks? I mean, they tell you have to come out of Kansas City or something. Yeah. It's like good God that they have the machine and actually print it out and pop, 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 pop. Yeah, and it would be cheaper if they just did it there instead of having to ship stuff all over the place and mail things all over the place, but, oh well. No, it wouldn't, uh, according to their cracked up yeah. of bullshit. Oh, and, and good news, uh, Vermont Yankee is shutting down. Yay! It is? Yeah, Vermont Yankee is being shut down. Yeah, that's going to make all electric go higher, because it's going to be less electric in this area. Well, and then there's also going to be the issue with all the nuclear waste. What are they going to do with that for the next half million years? Why do they decide to shut it down? Because of the age of it or what? I think that's part of it. The safety issues. They haven't built a new nuclear power plant in like 20 years or something. But anyway, so they're shutting that down. I'm glad. I'm just worried then that they'll increase our electric bills. And it could. It could. But, um... Anyway, folks, so that's... Well, it could be like Illinois and have, I think, 13 of them. Oh, my God. There's... Well, you got Chicago. You got to... <laughs> what do you think is going to keep the lights turned on in Chicago? Yeah. Handles? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> and we get our first freeze tonight, probably not here, but in Coos County. 35. 35? That's not re 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 Oh, really? Yeah, and that was the, oh. the channel that covers, um... Our area? Hampshire, mm -hmm. not... Oh, so we, so 35, my wife said. Uh, said Monadnock region, and we're right next to the mountain. Yeah, we're, the mountain's right mm -hmm. there. It's in our backyard, basically. Yeah. Also, for the cop blockers out there, guess what? This phone has video on it. I just found that out today. So if, if we ever get pulled oh, over. Rat. You got video on I don't. Yeah, I got video on this. This is a $10 uh, phone. A $10 phone. And it has... the wrong one. Well, I'm not going to say anything. Of course, I... We're not able to go get our eyes examined. We're not able to... We spent, like, $300 at Walmart, and we were actually not buying everything. Well, so, what did we buy that made it so damn expensive? I don't remember. I mean, we bought... That griddle was $30. That you bought. Yeah. And I cooked on it tonight, and it turned out wonderful. Um... The Amazon, okay. pretty most of the Amazon order just didn't go failed. through. Failed. <laughs> what? Failed. What failed? The Amazon order. Oh, because I was trying to get my wife a new battery for okay. her computer. Well. So, and guess what else? My wife found this tonight. My tool. It went through the washer and the dryer. And that's why you don't see the the little label on there. It's a Swiss Army knife. Well. So, bad. I well, don't think that's going to kill it. No. It's nice and clean. You got this the other day. This is a whetstone. So I can sharpen things because there happens to be a hatchet up there that needs to be sharpened. But uh, anyway, so hopefully this video will upload. We don't know what's going on with our internet connection. This is just crazy. Kind of pissing me off. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, look, people. You know, if I plug, if I turn this, this, uh, what is this right here called? Not the modem, the, the um, 
router? Router, the wireless router. If I turn the router, if I, I'm trying to go to look up there because that's where the on. camera usually <laughs> is. If I turn the router on, then neither one of us get anything. We don't get any internet. Okay. Well, so if I plug it in, all I do is plug it in. And, and it, the internet dies. I run the diagnostic through the computer, and it says it's the modem is experiencing connectivity issues. See, we it's don't like know. Oh, bullshit. Yeah, so it's the cheap piece of junk that they give us from the. How much do we pay for the month for it? Wait, Isn't it like seventy or eighty dollars? I think so. And this is supposed to be a broadband connection. Yep. I've had, before, when I lived in Springfield, Illinois, I had broadband connection in there, and it was through Comcast, and it was as fast as a bolt of lightning. It makes this stuff look like dialogue. <coughs> I don't think they should even be allowed to call this broadband. So we have to wait till Monday, but... I went a rip off. Also, you know, I want to I say a couple more things. Um, first of all, when you call a redneck a redneck... That's actually complimenting him. Yeah, that's not an insult by any means. Second, do you know the origin of the term redneck? What is the definition, the official definition of it? Actually, the official def definition, I don't know, I guess like an idiot from the country. But the origin were actually communist... Uh, mine workers in West Virginia who wore red scarves around their necks. You're the communist, not me. You're that kind of redneck. I thought it was, uh, oh no, um, Marines, that's leatherneck. Yeah, it's leathernecks. <laughs> well, well, which is better, a redneck or a leatherneck? I'll be a redneck. <laughs> um, so, oh, who's a redneck? Hey, you're going to almost hit the floor. Second or third, um, you know, a lot of us rednecks have an education. As you know, I've been to college. Yep. You know what my major was? History. History. I've also been to trade school. I went to trade school right out of high school. What did uh, you go for? Horticulture, wasn't it? Uh, horticulture. Yeah, it's called the full term was horticulture and ornamental floriculture. Yeah. Um, Horticulture up here means getting a rock into a wheelbarrow and moving it to the other end of the <laughs> yeah, end of the other end of the lot that you're trying to build a house on. <laughs> uh, the only trouble is the the rock may be almost as big as big as the Clydesdale. And we I have can't imagine how they built the houses up here when they were first. The poor horses must have went <laughs> about revolted. <laughs> we got topo maps for our area. So, oh, do you like that light? <laughs> yeah, that it's actually pretty Clearer. nice. Yeah. Clearer. Yeah. It you looks gotta, like a scanner. It, it, yeah. It does. It looks yeah. like something you would hold to scan the barcode. Hello, Maggie. And one thing I think, one of the problems that we we have with with hey, our good. little lady over there is our we have so little space that she it's hard. Have space to consider her own. Right. You see, Lucky is used to this be all being hits. Now, the kittens don't bother him. They want to be his buddy. <laughs> okay. Our two kittens over here. Socks enjoys going for rides in the car. And John enjoys being outside for a walk. When I take Lucky for a walk, he goes with me and he usually stays like right up here. No, we haven't tried to put a harness in a, a leash on him. We, we don't want to get our arm ripped off. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think he would. I don't think it would bother him that much anyway, the way he acts. No. Yeah, she's she's kind of weaning them now. now part of it, as much as you can see, she wants to, like, go outside. She wants to completely get away from them. Yes. She gets up there. She gets over here. She just wants away from them. Now, unlike some cats that will swat at their kittens, she hasn't been doing that, thankfully. Maybe yet. <laughs> no, not yet. But when they get to be a little bit more a pest. Yeah. They still try to wrestle her tail and stuff like that. Yeah, Fox really like, thinks Mommy's tail is a good toy. <laughs> yeah. So, a little female. <laughs> so, anyway, folks, I guess this is almost 15 minutes long now, so I will say... But, of course, Mother doesn't appreciate that. No, she doesn't. 
I say goodbye now. They all three ran in there, and Lucky's in my lap. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye everybody. <laughs>